Okay, this is a continuation of the get version and uh, they want to know how to add, uh, how to customize this one to your own needs, right? So, um, of course, it started with, uh, you have to change the, the, head, the header. Say, I want, I want, uh, what was the best one we need to do? Say, I want to add uh, a get ver uh, the Ansible version, right? Say, you have Ansible version all throughout the server. And, um, okay, before we add another one, let me just discuss this one, right? So, the host name is, is this one, right? App, it's a combination of one to multiple, but some of them, like, like the OS, it's just, it just need, need one. Well, why, why is that? Why you need only, why the OS have only one? Because... It only needs one and this one is not it doesn't have uh, yes yeah, so, see it's, it's different now on, on this 7.9 but previously I have this uh, it's multiple multiple command basically um, anyway I will not fix that um, if you check also um, And yeah, if if it's uh, the the Nick one here, it's combination of uh, a long a long one, right? So Nick, it's the, the Nick is very long. So say you want you we want to add the I have Ansible here of course, right? So we want to change the we want to see the Ansible version. Say you have in your five thousand server you have Ansible version and you want. You want to capture that, right? So, but then again, uh, okay, the out, if, if you put this in A, and you cut A, it's, it's multiple, multiple lines, right? You just need the, the first line. So what you can do, you can always search in, 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 in the internet, right? So that uh, it's easy to use this one. So you just use awk. Right, awk a, you, you get the first line. So what you do is you put it also on another variable, right? So if you got b, it's just a single line, unlike unlike with a, right? But we don't need that that, that one r right now. Um, so where's the command? So awk. So this is the the main command. The other one is Ansible does this version anyway. You can memorize that, right? Say I want to add it after the kernel version. So I want to add I want to add it here. So I you can you you have to put a uh, double quotes if there's two names that you want to add. But I just want to put Ansible. So I don't need I don't I don't need the the double the double quotes. Because the kernel version, they have space. The base update, they have space. That that's why they have quotes. Um, the, so the the kernel version is is this one. So you ha you have to add it here. Ansible. That's that version, and you have to put one so that you just get the not including the error, right? And then the other one is this one. So. The sample is this one, right? So let's get this one. A prefix. I think I put J, JB here for the prefix for the get version. So this will be Ansible, right? So we need it. Uh, okay, let's put one so that we, we got the the Ansible as, as the, the main uh, final output, right? So this one will awk that Ansible and then we will all again just put one so that we don't if there's error we don't capture the error and we put here just ansible now if you add ansible here so we, we, we add it on the headers and this the one that that this is the one that captures it but the one that captures the the one that captures the on 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 
that also you need to add is also here. I should have I should have put this in another module, but I I uh, I just put it there. So you will see this is the host name, the app, the OS, and this is the key KB or kernel version. Uh, so cop let's copy that one and put a space here and enter, and we know that it's Ansible, right? And okay, there's error there. Okay. Now, if you, if you are using Ansible CLI, you have to do a lot of many things. Unlike if you are using a tower, it's automatic. It will do it automatic for you if you update. Um, you have to, if, if so I modify my Ansible, right? My get version Ansible. So you need to do a push here. But this one is, I, I already did previously. So there's, there's, there's no more... happen here okay because I already I, 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 I already did that that's why it's asking for the get version so I will get just stash I already updated uh, I did it before I do this particular version so Ansible will be there so it's just just the same <laughs> I, I, I did a demo on myself so that uh, I will not waste a, uh, a time of fixing it on, on the video, right? And all in APR CLI, it's not only that one. Um, you have to go to that Ansible, right? Roles. And you have to delete this, delete that, that, that Galaxy. RM minus FR get version, okay? But it's already updated, okay? Sometimes when you need to when you need to troubleshoot, you need to go in inside and um, of course on the you will see that um, my get version YAML the Ansible is already there, right? Um, so you have to delete that and then also you, you need to run again the Yes, the update. You need to run the update. Oh, there's so many commands. Commands already. Yeah, you need to you need to run this one, the update again. Yeah, you have to, you have to delete that. It's, it's it's a pain. You can script it if you want, right? And you have to uh, to update it again so that it reflects because when Ansible run it will it will not go to the to the to the GitHub although although your requirement is on the GitHub it doesn't do it automatic automatically for you when you do it doing CLI. Okay, so so now if we run this one, of course, it's updated, right? And we SSH. So we see now that the, the Ansible for the Docker, it got Ansible. But of course, on my local host, the reason, I, because I didn't name it, uh, because I, I cannot change it. I'm doing something virtualization on that one. Um, so if you see it, there's no Ansible here. You will see just a space. So if this is the kernel version, this is the kernel version. You will just see it's, it's space. So that when you see it on the, again, on the, on the CSB, right? It's just blank there, meaning it, it, it doesn't have Ansible, right? Um, what else I can demonstrate for you? So. So what happened here is uh, it's, it goes to the TMP, right? And then it there, there will be a get version here, right? And then you have all the files here, right? So you will see that, that the, 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 the get version Ansible uh, is, is there, right? The, 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 all the files that you created uh, are there. And then um, 
yeah there's there's issue on this one i this is not updated um the timestamp is on only on the seconds or on the minute i think so hour in minute this will be a conflict later on if you if you run it immediately then there will be a conflict so it's better you change the timestamp here i think the timestamp is somewhere of course on the mail log uh what do you call this one uh, mail log uh, so of course it's in the create log yeah so put a second there you just put percent percent s there so that it doesn't uh you know uh, collide with another run if it uh, you, you run it within uh within one minute right so that so that they don't collide to each other all, all the logs so that's that's how you add uh, how you customize this get version to your own needs okay ciao